Let's see the breakfast in Plus TV Africa. Well, we're looking at a second conversation, the decline in the production of uh, food products in Nigeria. The Nigerian Economic Summit Group yesterday expressed concern over the declining rate in cultivation of food crops by farmers due to insecurity. The country is forced to import more food products than it should be exported. The group says that there's a huge supply demand gap across all food crops as the country is not producing enough to meet local demand. Well, when President Mohamed Buhari took office in 2015, he promised to diversify Nigeria's oil-dominated economy by investing more in agriculture and encouraging farming. The government aimed at food sufficiency and increased foreign exchange earnings. The president launched the Agricultural Promotion Policy, which expired December 2020 to succeed the Agricultural Transformation Agenda Policy launch in 2013 by his predecessor, Goodluck Jonathan. Buhari also spoke over time about Nigerians being able to produce what we can eat and eat what we produce. A few months after assuming office, the government launched Anchor Borrowers Program in November 2015 to boost the agricultural production and to reverse Nigeria's negative balance of payment on food. The programs target those cultivating cereals, that's uh, rice, maize, wheat, cotton roots and tuber sugarcane, tree crops, tomato, livestock, loans are often dispersed to the beneficiaries through the banks. Upon harvest, the farmers repay by taking their harvest to anchors who pay the cash equivalent to their bank account. So we have a, a farmer who joins the conversation all the way from or your state, Abraham Michael. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Zama. Well, so um, th there's a group that's raised concern about food that's not enough. We're not producing enough for local consumption, not to talk about exporting, and that's because of the insecurity. Do you, and can you relate with this concern? Yes, yes, I can relate. Can you share your experience because you are a farmer? So can you tell us? how this is an issue. They are saying that insecurity has hampered food production and also hampered you know, our ability to even export because we're not producing enough to consume, not to talk of exporting. So tell us your experience with insecurity and farming. Okay, my, first, my major experience is the problem of all those asthma. So all those full learning asthma. So if you plant your crop now, so I have my farm in Ukyogun. Can you hear me, ma? Yes, loud and clear. Go ahead. We can all hear you. Okay, okay. Like, I have my farm in Ukyogun now, so located in the Shen area. Well, can so you once be you audible? Plant... Eh? Can you please project? Can you speak out? Okay, okay, okay. Can you hear me well, Mama? This is better. Go ahead. Okay, I said I have my farm in Okyogun now. So I planted some crop like cassava, maize, yam, and other food crops. Huh? So all those full and men, they are the major problem of farming in this country. So despite the fact that they knew that the crop has been planted on a particular land. They will see putting their cattle on that farm. And if you tell them that this is wrong, so they they always ready to fight like a war. Like they believe they are the one only this country that they can do and undo. I think government should find something on on this to to be oh. done. Abraham Michael, I'd like to ask you, you, you are a farmer. I'd like you to share experience with your farm. Are you saying that your farm has been attacked? You say you have a farm where you have uh, yam, you cultivate yam, you have maize and what have you. Are you saying that your farm has been attacked by bandits? You call them Fulani headsmen. How do you know that they are Fulani headsmen? 
Yes, I know, I know, because I've met them one on one separately on my farm with their cattle. You understand? For instance, now, there's no way beside that farm to pass their cattle through. They will still force their cattle to pass through that farm. You understand? And there's no way for the cattle over there. They will just step on your crops, everything you planted. So they will destroy. There was a time set, maybe two weeks ago. The cassava that have not affected, that are mature already, they are still putting their cattle through that farm. So I don't know. They are the major problem. They are full of amazement with their cattle. I saw them. One or right. one is not that. Michael, very quickly, or... very quickly, we don't have time, but we, we want to ask you, um, how are you guys, uh, you farmers in your part of Nigeria, uh, coping with this this uh, uh, you know security uh, you know, situation where you have some uh, headsmen uh, you know attacking you and all that. How do you cope to be able to get your um, uh, your, your your produce to to maturity? And what can be done in your own experience to make things better? Very quickly, please. Okay, okay, okay. What we use, what I usually do on my farm is to create a barrier around the boundary of that farm. You understand? Like putting the stick, the stick guide over that farm so that you disable those cattle from entering the farm. So that is the... All right. All right. Uh, we, we, we want to thank you. So is, is there anything that can be done from the official quarters, you know, to make it easier for your, you to, your products to... To, to mature and to, to be harvested, not to be eaten by cows? I think what should be done is to fence those farms with maybe wire nets. Right. To, or to, to do any, to, to create any barrier to disable those cattle from entering. All right. All right. Because another means is maybe you use chemical to spray around those farms. That but it can affect their cattle. They will just eat it and go and die somewhere. I think that is not uh, normal. <laughs> all right, all right. Interesting. Um, we, we we don't want to see that, you know, because because livestock are also part of the the agricultural products in the country. Uh, Michael, thank you very much for your time, and we we sympathize with you and your your current predicament. Hopefully, that um, your your yams and other products uh, will not be eaten or crops by cows, you know, in the in the future. You know, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. All right, Messi, you know, when we hear insecurity um, with, uh, in, you know, in the country and as it affects agriculture, we might think about bandits and, and Boko Haram. But, you know, the issue of cattle just getting to car farms and eating people's crops and then the headsmen clashing with the farmers is a serious problem. So it's affecting people down south in the middle belt, just as displacement of farmers in the north by insecurity is also affecting the agricultural sector there. But it will be interesting to see what the experts say, say about um, this cry or call by the NS, NESG, the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, bearing in mind that the uh, NBS, National Bureau of Statistics, yesterday said that uh, agriculture was one of the sectors that had mixed uh, 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 results for Q for the last quarter, or Q2, you know, 2022, 2022. And the crop production grew from 3.39 trillion to 3.59 trillion. So what is going on? It's actually livestock, livestock production that went down. We have to look at, maybe sometime we have the experts discuss. You, know, you, know, you know, sometimes uh, the we reports... Are, we, are, we are out of time. Yeah, we are out of time. But you know, sometimes uh, the reports that you have, because at the end of the day, you talk about the standard of living. Everything that we say on paper, uh, the most important thing is how does that translate to the, our current reality? When you go to yeah, the market, but, but, but do we have the, this? The MBS is not just on paper. They send people to the Apart markets, from that, I mean, once upon a time, those who are in the livestock business, you also have that they were out of, you know, what you have, the well, we feeds, have to go where you have we the have feeds to uh, for yeah. uh, the poultry. So it's quite difficult. Right? All right. That's, so, that's, so that's the size that's of our package, is. yes. And we'll, we'll talk about this some more. It's an interesting dynamic. But you can follow us online at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and of course on YouTube and at Plus TV Africa Live. So my name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Boko. Have a great day.